Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Number three things that gives you access to men. Give you access to men of repute. It's your gift of value. Proverbs 18 verse 16. Proverbs 18 verse 16. A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. Potentials or talents that are not worked upon, not improved, cannot produce value. It is potentials worked upon. It is value you have labored night and day to improve on. I wrote a, a new book since last year. And I refused to publish it because certain things are needed in the book are not in place. It was edited, yet I couldn't publish it until I have spent some time to go through. Do not be in a hurry to produce a product. Ah, I don't know why you came to church this morning. Are you, are you here? Don't be in a hurry to produce a product. Do due diligence. And do you know that is what I found out that is troubling us, that has made us not to succeed in the little business we started because we didn't do due diligence. So investigate, to examine, to find out, can I enter? Will I succeed? What are the things I need to do different? Should I just continue? I want to say, brah, go to Anisha, buy brah, bring, bring it to Benin. And when the church closed, open the booth for people to buy brah, and they buy the brah, and they buy, they pay half. And the other remaining half, I will drag it for the next three months before I get it. Before the money will finally come, I have eaten half of the capital. Businesses you sell like that, friend, you will be in business for 30 years and you will not amount to anything. Because when they have taken the bra and wore it, that is the excitement is over. When you come for this, okay, if you want to take your bra, come and take it. Then quarrel will start in church. How long will you do this kind of business? Improve on your gifts. Are you an usher? Usher excellently. Let be the best usher. You're a protocol. Let it be known who you are, what you are doing. Not like any other person. Why? You are unique. They give you a microphone to sing here. Sing to impress God, not to impress these people. Everybody may get, get excited when you sing, but heaven is angry. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. Number four, your spiritual gifts, your spiritual disposition, your spiritual insight, your spiritual gifts will give you access to men. Before I speak on this finally, let me show you another man. Oh, God, help me. Help me this morning. Nehemiah chapter, chapter 2. Nehemiah chapter 2. Nehemiah chapter 2. And it came to pass, watch this, in the month Nisan, in the 20th year of Atazazes. Somebody say Atazazes. 
before you cut your tongue. Atazazes the king, that wine was before him. And I took the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I had, I had not been before time sad in his presence. Look at that. Are you aware that smile attracts smile? Stop looking like somebody they rub kokoyam upon his face. Use lemon juice to baptize you. Stop. Somebody says stop. Oh. Friend, this smile. Your own is not the worst. There are people whose cases are worse than yours. When people greet you, smile. When you see people, smile. It was smile. And each time Nehemiah carries drink to give to the king, he is of a good countenance. Smile. Somebody says smile. Then the king saw him sad. This is a slave. He was captured as a slave and serving as a slave. And look at verse 2. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is your countenance sad? Seeing thou art not sick, this is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was so afraid. So you mean that the king takes note of me. As you live here today, may this oil rest upon you. Amen. That people will pay attention. Amen. Hey, sis, listen to me. If you keep on squeezing your face when you are with the brothers, they won't be, they, don't, they won't have boldness to talk to you. So I don't want anybody to take advantage of me. If they say one, you say five. No, stop it there. Keep it there. Hey, hold it. Ah. Sis. They just know that you are unapproachable. So what would they do? They leave you. They say, no, I'm not like Sister Mary. You have to be playing with all these small, small brothers. Small, small brothers. Okay. Look for BB brothers. Somebody say, I hear. I hear. He was so afraid. And he said, and he said unto the king, let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad? When the city, the place of my father's sepulcher, lieth west, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire. Does the king not know? Then the king said unto me, For what doest thou make request? What is your request? I prayed to the Lord of heaven. I don't know if, are you catching me this morning? There is something about you that will present you before men and activate favor. It was a good character, a good behavior that made the king look at a servant. If servant is angry, let him be angry. There are some of us, our housemaids, they dare not smile. They dare they smile. We, we, we are wondering, why, why, why are you laughing? Why are you smiling? Go and clean the place, my, my friend. You are a, such a tyrant that you have had 15 girl, girls, 15 housemaids, in four years. Because they can't stay. You shout from the gate. Shout and shout. You, you, you torment people's life. You be a tormentor. Now, if you keep on shouting for this boy who is selling, when you go out, he's the one selling. He'll be stealing money. He knows his days are numbered. Are you listening to me? He doesn't have confidence staying. He knows his days are what? Numbered. So whatever he can get, let him grab now. But if you treat him like a son, he says sometimes when you treat them like son, they misbehave. Treat them like son because you are going to heaven. Let them misbehave. Did you not misbehave before? Are you, are you perfect? See your head. 
<laughs> now let me go tell you, see your head. And I said unto the king, if he please the king, and if thy servant have found favor, had found what? Favor in thy sight, that thou wouldest send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchre, that I may build, I may build it. I may build it. Come on. This is the king that destroyed the sepulchre. See them. This is the king that destroyed the gates. Is the king you are still requesting that you want to go. This is the favor I'm talking about. The favor comes when you are not qualified. That's what grace is. You are qualified when you are not qualified. How can you make such a demand? A slave making a demand to go back to his country, to go and rebuild. Look at what the king said. And the king said unto me, and the queen also sitting by him, for how long shall the journey be? And when will thou return? So he pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. Now the king, when favor is working for you, you will be asked what you need. And whatever you say is what will be given to you. That's what operated in Esther. It was this favor. If Esther had not lived a good life and a well character life before the king, the king would lift up his scepter, the, the, the scepter. If Esther was the one that torments the king in the bedroom, I hope you know there are men that are tormented. Oh? Are you looking at me? There are men who are tormented in the bedroom when they come out, they are smiling. <laughs> they are smiling. They are smiling. When they, their wife, hey, my husband, my husband, when they reach room, say you, I will show you in this room. The man will be looking. The man will be looking for his life. He will be examining his life to say, now so I go go. I'm telling you the truth. Oh. Tormentors. Tormentors. You say, after you come and eat. Come and eat. So where did they go? So you want to leave this house? My friend, go sit down. Oh. If you don't want them to hear our voice in this compound, go and sit down. Oh. Don't let me start. Oh. Don't let me start. Okay. The man is thinking, when shall I escape? <laughs> if that was Esther, would the king lift up the scepter? No, this is time to kill this woman to go. Let me marry another one. Who sent for her? But this is the woman that tortures the king. Ah, when he saw, ah, say, see my queen, quickly took the scepter, lifted it up. And said to Esther, anything you ask, I give you the half of my kingdom. That's what favor does for you. That is what is happening to Nehemiah here. It is the character of a slave that makes the master value him more than those who are indigent. Somebody holler hallelujah. hallelujah. Moreover, I said unto the king, if he please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river that they may convey me over till I come to Judah. Please, sir, you know, as a slave, when they see me, they will capture me. If you can write a letter to tell the governor so that as I present the letter, they will allow me a pass. That is giving me a pass. This is a, a slave negotiating with the master. What is speaking here? Grace. What is speaking here? Favor. It is grace, but this grace is activated by good service. Good what? Service. Diligent service. Excellent service. That the king observed that this guy serves with, with smile. This guy is smart. And look at what the king did. And a letter unto Asa, the keeper of the king's forest. Go back to verse 7. Moreover, I said unto the king, if it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river that they may convey me over till I come 
unto Judah. Verse 7. And a letter unto As Asfa, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace. Shall the king say anything you ask? Sir, this is my request. Which appertained to the house and for the wall of the city, the king destroyed it. And for the house that I shall enter into, and the king granted me according to the good hand of my God upon me. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. The favor of God is the good hand, but he has to use the man. Then your behavior towards the man is what will release it. There are men who have good hearts and they want to favor you, but your behavior deny them.